Lafonso Ellis is here. I want to give a quick shout out to Caleb Daniels for Villanova. He had 12 off the bench. We couldn't have mentioned him in the highlights, but he's from New Orleans. Oh, wow. Transfer from Tulane. He's yeah. heading home for the Final Four. We'll get to all those great stories here over sure. the next week. It's going to be great, but it's great to have you here. Thank you. I know you were here. watching yes. Samuel, so we showed you in the highlight mm -hmm. in his matchup with Fabian White. Yes. What did you see there? Well, I thought that was the biggest matchup coming into this game, and the player that won that matchup would win the game. And I thought Jermaine Samuels was terrific. Even going back to the Michigan game, anytime he found any of Michigan's bigs on him, he drove them to the basket. And what did you see in the game tonight? He did exactly the same thing. Anytime he would catch that basketball and he looked over and he saw Fabian White uh, guarding him out in front, or if he would see Josh Carlton guarding him, he would put that basketball on the floor and get to the front of the rim. His ability to be able to get to the front of the rim kept that team off balance. He's able to score 16 points, get 10 rebounds in this game. He's had an outstanding NCAA tournament, and he was the key to Villanova's win tonight. Last couple things I want to mention with you. One, if you just started watching Houston this year, you might think, wow, it's tough. They got to the yeah. Final Four last year, couldn't get there this year. <laughs> sure. But considering what they lost, and once you fill the viewers in on yes. that, how remarkable is it that they even got to this point? It's absolutely remarkable. Folks, they're, they're missing their best player in Marcus Sasser, who averaged 18 points a game and shot over 40% from the three-point line. They lose Sherman Mark, 10 points per game, a lefty who can really drive it. So you're talking about a team that was able to find themselves defensively, have other guys step up like Ataze Moore, who's had an incredible year, and to be able to get to an Elite Eight without 28 points and a guy who actually they could have used Marcus Sasser here was their biggest issue in this game, not able to knock down three balls. One of 20, Marcus Sasser was absolutely an assassin from the three-point line, could create his own offense, and he would have been a money guy down the stretch that could have made some big threes for them to win this game. Not to mention, I mean, he had 20 first-half points there. Uh, right? yeah. 20, it's hard to win playing yes. anybody. Last thing for you, and this is something I alluded to mm -hmm. in the highlight. And, you know, there's been so much talk about Duke. He deserves it. So much talk about St. Peter's. Yes. They deserve it. Mm -hmm. Fonz, Villanova is basically Ooh. a modern-day dynasty that <laughs> we're not talking about. Incredible. I mean, 2016 mm -hmm. title, 2018 title. Yeah off to the final four again. What's the secret sauce there? It, it, it's the culture and it's almost plug and play because when you come into a Villanova system, there's several things that you're going to do. One of them mainly is you're going to be absolutely fundamentally sound. You're not going to turn the basketball over. You're going to drive it. You're not going to pick up charges. Why? Because you're going to two foot jump stop and you're either going to make a play or you're going to move the basketball and then their ability to be able to knock down the three ball over 46% of their shots are from the three point line. That's 17th in the country and they make nine from the three-point line and they don't just catch it here they catch that basketball ready to shoot it and so it puts so much pressure on the guy that's closing out and then they can drive and get in lanes for his help and then kick it again the culture at Villanova is second to none and they have another opportunity to win a national title thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to ESPN plus